Hey everybody, it's Tanya at Hummingbird Paintery. Tonight we're gonna paint our little wooden giraffe um, that I cut out and I showed y'all the picture already. Um, I'm gonna give it a little bit of time for people to come on so that can be um, told that I'm here. I am coming on just about two minutes early, so it'll give people time to get here. Hey B, how are you doing? It's good to see you. You're the first one for me to see. So we'll see if some other people come on. I did prep this a little bit. Hey Miss Martha, how are you doing? Are y'all having a good Wednesday? I hope so. I'm extremely tired. Hey Beth, how are you doing? It's good to see you on as well. Hey Brittany, it's good to see you. Hey Paula, it's good to see you. Did y'all have a good good Wednesday? <laughs> I did a little prep work on my little wooden giraffe tonight. I'm doing pretty good. I'm just tired, Miss B. Um, but I'll muddle through. So I went ahead and I painted the backs of everything because I've been sitting here for about 20 minutes and I thought, well, I could go ahead and do that because sometimes I don't do it until afterwards. So instead of just sitting here, I just went ahead and painted. I went ahead and painted the tail and I also painted the two little uh, feet pieces. Hey, Miss Virginia Tanner, it's good to see you. Hopefully you had a good day today. The first thing I'm going to do is paint my back pieces, which is the back of the giraffe. And this is kind of the front of the giraffe. I'm going to go ahead and paint the front of this. It's just one solid color of the lighter color gold. Um, I did use King's Gold by Apple Barrel. And then I put some white along with it. So I made it a little bit lighter. So when I do go ahead and put the gold little uh, spots on there, then you'll be able to see those since it's a little bit lighter. So I'm just going to go ahead and start that since it's just one color that we have to do. I did do the backs and the sides so we don't have to worry so much about having to do that. I will do the face last and then we'll put it on last, of course. So I'm just going to take this after I mix it the color that I want. I did hear about the, the shooting in Texas. Um, I don't know exactly where that's at. Hey, Sue Watts. So, um, I, did, I don't usually watch the news. Hey, Robin. Because it's just got too much depressing stuff on there. And that, I, that just really hurts me knowing that um, that happened. I don't understand. What did they say anyway? Thank you for painting the page, Miss Robin. You're always good about that. Hey, Lisa Wakefield. It's good to see you. Did they catch who did it? I hope so. Hey, Janet Sherman. How are you doing? So I'm just doing, we might have to do two coats. Thank you for sprinkling, Lisa. I appreciate that. If anybody's new on here, please let me know. Um, I know these ladies so far that have been on here. Um, but if you're new, I would like to tell you thank you for watching. And sprinkle or paint the page as we call it here. And also like the page if you are interested in what I'm doing. I'm, I'm sure it is, Brittany. Hey, Renee from Mississippi. What part of Mississippi? Most of my family's from Mississippi. Hey, Virginia Tanner. They shot the shooter. Good, Paula. Thank goodness. Hey, Teresa. Was it somebody, like a parent, or what was going on, or was it just a fluke, and they don't really know? Police shot and killed him, Robin said. Thank goodness. That's what they need to do with those people. I just, I just don't understand. Why would you do that at a school? These people, these kids are innocent. Hattiesburg. I've been through Hattiesburg before. That's a pretty little town. <clears throat> My dad used to live right outside of Jackson. God, 18-year-old boy. Are you kidding me? I guess I need to listen to the news. I just didn't, I heard about it, but I didn't read it. I mean, what... 
What kind of problem would he have? I mean, I just think there's so many people with some mental issues and um, people don't catch that. I just, I don't know how you cannot know from the same school. So he was probably mad at something that went on and that's what happened. So I don't know. But what I was saying, thank you, Miss Robin. Yeah, if anybody needs prayers, we are here to give them. You cannot have enough prayers. Because nowadays, just so much happens. Virginia lives about 30 minutes from Hattiesburg. Oh, shot his grandmother. Oh, that hurts me. He must have lived with his grandmother. I just don't, I don't understand. Did she survive? Golly. I just don't know what's going on in this world. I'm so thankful that I get on here and hopefully make somebody happy by doing all my painting. Um, so I really appreciate y'all for being here. Just let me let you know that. Um, I'm very appreciative for everything that y'all do for me, which is liking and sharing my Oops, excuse me, sprinkling my page. And so I, I really appreciate that. I just don't understand the way the world is today. I always had a fairly happy childhood. She's critical. Well, I hope she survives. Carol Plummer, hey. Hey, Rita Ann, it's so good to see you. So right now I'm just painting the um, body of the giraffe. Yeah, that's what she said, that she was in critical condition, Miss Robin. Those cute little faces you paint. I'm so glad, B. I I really am. I'm going to go ahead and paint the top of this. I got a little bit of paint on it when I was trying to paint the sides and the back. So I'm just going to go ahead and put one coat on this. We will do this last, though, so I can do the, the face on here. So I want it to dry while I do the rest of it. Hey, Carrie, it's good to see you from the UK. Well, thank you for being here. I appreciate that. I don't have too many uh, UK followers or from Europe. I sure do like Europe. Let me tell you, I've been to the UK. I've been to England. And I really like it there. I went to York and to... Gosh, London, and a couple of other places. I'm not sure. Windermere, Windermere. That was one of them. So long ago, I can't even remember. And uh, I went to a couple of other places where Queen Victoria has a house. I went there. I can't remember the name of it, though. Golly, geez. Thank you. I'm so glad, Miss Robin. Sometimes I get goofy on here, especially as tired as I am. Thank y'all for those hearts. I really need hearts, let me tell you. Today, Dr. Bierman finished up scoping and came in there to tell me something. And y'all, I jumped out of my skin because he scared me. He scared me so bad. I was thinking about something that I was doing on the computer and he just scared me. All he said was, hey. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it. Um, oh, the off the window mirror for my holiday. That it's so nice there. It was November when I went. It was several years ago, Carrie. And um, I went there with a friend, and he took me around to different places, and I really was appreciative of that. And uh, I got to take tons of photos. I'll have to post some of them so you can see. I'll try to. Boy, this paintbrush is terrible. I'm fixing to get this other one that's smoother, especially for the face. It's kind of giving a little texture there that I don't want on the face. Not right now. So, I've been over Europe a lot. I've been to different countries. And I love it there. I wish I could go there all the time. I want to go back to Italy really bad. And I want to see the Scandinavian countries. Yes, I'll definitely post some. 
All right, let me put one more coat on this so I can get rid of all these little lines. Because for whatever reason, it doesn't, doesn't do good. So I'm going to set it over here to the side so I don't actually touch it. All right. So I think I've got enough on here. And part of this is going to be covered up. This is a piece of extra plywood that I had. It's got, it's three quarter inch. So this is a good sturdy piece or you can use a one by 12 of pine. I just didn't uh, want to cut that. So I went ahead and did this. So I'm going to take the heating tool and I'm going to go ahead and, and dry this. So let me do that because you want it dry right here. When you put this piece on here, you want to make sure that it's very dry. because it will not adhere. Hey Jenny, it's good to see you. And I'm gonna use my glue gel from the Dollar Tree as, lo as well as hot glue to put it together. We're just gonna make sure this is really dry right in here. And I kinda just eyeballed this as I was cutting it out um, to make sure that it's, I had to cut a little bit off the side here when I was doing it because I didn't want it too thin, but I wanted it just thin enough. But this is the front part, and I've already dried the back. That way it'll adhere better. So let me hook that on there. And I didn't paint this little area right here. I meant to do the same over here, but it's just a waste of paint because we're gonna put that little brown piece on the front for the little foot. I call it the feet. I don't know what you'd want to call that. The ends of his little feet since he's supposed to be kind of sitting down, squatting down. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead. I went ahead and put it together. And then I did my little polka dots. But you can do the polka dots and then you can put it on. It's fine. It just is easier to put it on and you don't have to worry about drying those. Do you sell them not painted? Yes, I do. Um, all of these are like, this one's a little bit more. It's got three layers to it. Some of them just have two. Um, they're, this one would probably be $25 without the painting and 30 with the painting because it's pretty tall. Um, it would, and then the shipping you know, would be extra. So I don't know how much it costs to ship this. This one's a little bit bigger than say this one right here. I could get it in a smaller box, but most of them are about eight, eight or nine dollars. Some of them are 10. It just depends and it depends on where you live. The further away you are, the more it costs, of course. So if you're interested in purchasing just the wood, I can cut it out for you. If you want to try to paint this yourself, you're more than welcome to. That's fine, Miss Virginia. Um, just however you would like, okay? Most of the wood cutouts are $20 and then $25 if I paint them. So this one's just a little more because it's a little bit more detailed and everything. Okay, so... I'm going to go ahead and we're going to glue it and we're going to put some of this glue gel on here and I'm going to go ahead and you just have to make sure that your two pieces are together. They're not exact. I didn't cut them out together. I cut them out separately, but as long as you're over that so you don't see anything but that front piece in the front, then that's where you're going to put it. So I'm going to go ahead and put some of this glue gel. I'm just going to put it all the way down here and put a little blob on each end and a little bit in the middle. And then I'm going to take some hot glue and we're just going to go around that. We don't want it. Ooh, I got it down too far. We don't want to do it too far down. And I'm also going to get some cream color paint. I was going to put that in here, but we'll just do it in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and do this. And it dries fairly quickly on this, okay? So it's going to be dry, right? Just like this. Hey, Hannah, it's good to see you. But we can paint the cream color on the inside of this. I'm just going to take some of this plaster chalk paint because that's pretty much a cream color. 
and I'm going to just paint it for his belly. That's a little bit, I'm going to try to make it a little bit more creamy and just put a little yellow with it. Hey, Diana. It's good to see you. What did everybody do today? Did everybody work? Or were you at home? I know some of you are retired. All right, so I'm just going to take a little bit of the yellow, and we're just going to go right in this way because we want to show his belly as a different color. So let me just try to do this, and I'll show it to you when I get finished. I should have done that first, but I forgot, honestly. Um, you worked, Miss Diana? Me too. Like every day. I need a rich husband. Does anybody know one? You worked from home, Hannah? I can't work from home, unfortunately, at least not with my job. No, on vacation until the first. Well, Miss Robin, you enjoy your vacation, hun. All right, so see how it's a little bit more creamy in the middle there. You just relaxed. Well, I'm sure you needed it, that's for sure. All right. We're not going to put the tail on until last, uh, just simply because it'll be leaning to the side a little bit. Hey, Tommy Sue, it's so good to see you. All right, so I'm going to set this again over to the side. And I'm going to go ahead and put the feet on. I call them the feet. And we're just going to make sure that you level this up with the bottom. I've got it flat, excuse me, flat right here. And then... We're just going to put these on the side over here, but you want to put it flat with the bottom because otherwise it will not sit flat, okay? So make sure that you do that. And I'm just going to take a little bit of this and put it right here on both sides, and then we're going to put some hot glue. And I'm just going to take it and do a big, big blob there. Don't you just love the technical term, big blob? So I'm just going to take this, and you just have to look at it and put your thumb there where you want it. And I I tried to go around this exactly, but it may or may not be exact. This is just poor old me doing it. Hey, Julie Mae Rogers, it's good to see you. All right, so, so far, this is going to be our little giraffe, and I'm going to paint this little thing. I missed a spot. All right, I just missed one little area. All right, so this is our body right here without the tail. I'm going to put the tail on later, and then we're going to put the, the head on after we paint the face, and then we'll get it all on there. It says, your job let us go permanent work from home last year. After 2020, most of our office opted to continue work from home. Now that's nice if you can do that. I'm afraid I'd be on here on the internet and stuff if I had to do stuff at home. I'm just not sure. I don't know if I could be trusted. Hey, Christina. I'm pretty good about doing stuff. I don't guess I could not be trusted, but let me try to get some of this off. I got a little bit of glue on me. God, if you get that super glue gel on you, y'all, it's a mess. All right, let me try to dry this middle because I just don't want it to be wet there. I see it wet. And I'm going to show y'all a couple things that I got in the mail today. I've had people ask me about the gnomes that were made from the sock that had the big feet. They were hilarious. I did sell the first ones. And, um... So they're gone, but I'll have to make some more. So I went ahead and I bought some more socks. They are different from the pair that I got before, but they are striped yellow and black. And I got them off of Amazon, so anybody can get these on their own. So, all right, this is dry now. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this little flat brush right here, and we're going to make the little circles. And when I say little circles, his little polka dots to make him a giraffe. At least that's what I'm going to do. And then we're just going to take the king's gold. Hey, Lee. How are you doing, girl? 
Hey, Elizabeth Bauer. How are you doing? So right now, we're just going to do the little polka dots. And what I did was is just put some on some of this on the edge of the brush here. But I think I'm just going to do the whole brush. And then we're just going to make it a circle. What are the butterflies behind you made of? They These right here, they are um, made of maple seeds that I got off the ground from underneath the tree. I've got to find some more. I haven't found any more lately. So I'm just gonna make a circle here. And I just take my flat brush and thank you, Elizabeth. You didn't have to do that. I so gotta get with you so we can figure out our stars. I appreciate that so much. Anybody that gives stars, I really appreciate that. I also love, they love the hearts, so that's fine too. So I'm just putting a few of these little circles on here. And you can pretty much do a perfect circle. Sometimes I'm not if I move it. <laughs> if I move it a little bit, if I'm too tired. So I'm going to do this down here at the bottom. But it does make a perfect circle. All right, so I've got three dots on the outside there. Now we're going to move to the inside right here. And I'm just going to just do it anywhere. It doesn't matter. I'm going to be painting this part and this part at the bottom. You're welcome, Miss B. Um, I'm going to paint it brown as well. But I'm just going to wait a minute and we'll just do these polka dots first. So you can do as many or as few as you want. Now part of this is going to be covered up by the head. So you don't need to go all the way to the end. And since I don't know exactly where I'll put the head, then I'm surely going to go a little bit up. See, so there's like a lot of room here at the top. I'm going to put one right here on the edge. Just like that. That way it can look like it's just kind of hanging over there. Thank you, Miss Virginia. You're so sweet to say that. I really appreciate it. Hey, Miss Cindy. It's good to see you, and thank you. I hope everybody likes the draft. Now, I am going to use this same brush right here, and we're going to just do the edges with the gold as well, okay? Now, I'm only going to go partially up here. I'm not going to go all the way to the top because the head is going to be in the way. So, I just want to get the edges. You want to put a little bit of water. You don't want it too much. And we're just going to do it just like this. Just be careful when you get on your dots. So, probably as I... You know, I think of these things as I'm going because I'm tired. But um, I should have done this first and then did the dots. But it's okay. We can do it just like this. So it's all right. And don't have to go all the way to the bottom, really, because we're going to have brown there. And I'm going to do the same thing to the inside I am right-handed, so what I'm going to do is flip him around after I get to this side. Because it's just easier to get this way. Just make sure that you look at your brush. Hey, Diane Cole, did you send me a, fri a friend request or something? Because I did see that. Somebody may have taken your name because I thought we were already friends on there. You got a lot of cute clothes. Who's Shirley? All right, so I'm going to take this and we're just going to go to the edge here as well. Like I said, I should have done this before I put it all together, but I didn't think about it. You have a collection of giraffes. Aw. Well, here's you a giraffe. All right. I know some people like giraffes. All right. So, see, I didn't go all the way to the top because the face and the head is going to be here at the top. So, now I've got all of this part done. 
except for the brown. And I'm going to do that first and let it dry while we do the face. Hey, Sharon, Irene, it's good to see you. All right, so I'm just going to take this and we're just going to do, do it like this. I'm just doing the top of it. You do not have to go down the sides. I'm just kind of making it like his little foot here. I probably will have to get another coat on here. It's kind of a texture on this wood. But there are the little feet. One of them looks a little taller, so let me get this one a little bit higher. There we go. Doesn't have to be perfect, okay? So I'm gonna set this aside. I'm also gonna do this, and it needs the brown as well on the end of it. Let's see which side's the front. This side's the front. And this is a different piece of wood. It's a different kind of wood. So it's gonna do a little bit better. I've got like three different kind of woods here, or three different pieces that I used. So we're just gonna do the end just like this. I might need to get some gold. Let me see. I think I went too far up. So I'm just gonna do it this way. All right, we just did it like this. I'm gonna let that dry over here to the side while we fix the face. And I've already got the back done, and I'm going to do the front now. Hey, Elaine McLean, how are you doing, girl? All right. So, this is fairly dry. It's not all the way, so I'm going to go ahead and dry it. Just so you don't paint. When you paint over it and it's still wet, sometimes part of that comes up. Hey, Rita Ann. It's good to see you. So it's unintentionally. Sometimes you want it to run and other times you do not. We want the back to be really good. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna still take this same brush. Girl, if you can cut happy. There, it came back. Hey, um, is it Shalon Shavers? I'm not sure if I said your name right. Brittany said, I, you love the style of the something. I can't, I missed it. My hair, <laughs> time got away, was painting those blasted eyes. You can do it. You can do it. All right, so what I'm going to do is we're going to cut, we're just going to go around the whole edges. We do want to get a generous amount, but only on the edge. And we're just going to go around the edge with the darker color, okay? Because we're going to highlight this and make him come to life. Now, part of this is going to have pink on there. I know I froze up just for a second, but hopefully that'll be the only time. Lately, it's been doing that for whatever reason. So, this is what I did, okay, for the ear. Because right here is going to be pink. So, we're going to go inside of that darker yellow, okay? So, we're going to just do it on this side, same thing. And I'm just going to go on here, and I'm going to do this again. Okay, so now I've got two of them, and I'll put a little bit lighter color in the middle of both of those, so it'll come to life a little bit better in a minute. But we're just going to go around. I've got a piece of... I don't know, it just kind of right here is a little blurb in the wood. So you can't always get a perfect piece of wood. There's no such thing, I can tell you right now. No matter what we do, and I'm just going to keep going. This way, the head is connected and the ears are connected behind it, or at least it looks that way, but it's not, okay? So we're just going to keep going. And I'm going to get a little bit of water. Got to have a little bit or it won't float the color on just like it is. 
We just want the edges done for right now. Then I'll end up drying it and then we'll do a little bit more. All right, now part of this is gonna be, they look both a little bit different. So it's just got a bubble of paint on it, it's weird. Hey, Becky. Hey, Sharon. All right, so part of this is gonna be brown up here at the top and part of it's gonna be the goldish color. So I'm gonna take the goldish color and we're gonna make it kind of dark right here just because I want it to be dark for the little, whatever they're called on the top of their head. I was gonna say antennas, but that's not really what it is. Hey, Beverly Faulkner. All right, see, so that's kind of darker right there on both of those. Will this little guy stand? Yes, he does, he stands. See, look. Well, let me move him. There, he sits on his own. And he's three-dimensional. He's actually got one, two, three. There's four layers if you count the tail as a layer. Okay? So this is what he looks like. Isn't he precious? I love him. I love his little face. <laughs> I think it'd be cute for a baby's room. What do y'all think? Uh-oh, poor baby is on something crooked. I was just having him there so I could look. Make sure I'm doing the right thing. Once I do the first thing, Lord, get in there. <laughs> oh, come on. Seriously, I'm going to have to lean him down. Okay, thank you. You love the face. I do too. He's got a good little personality there. They all look different. They all look semi-different when I get them all done. All right, so the next thing that I want to do, I'm going to have to get some more brown out. Y'all know that I use, yes, classrooms and baby rooms. That's for sure. Um, I always use brown oxide. It's one of my favorite colors to use to float on here. And I'm going to put a little bit of that. I've tried to shake it up some. I'm going to use it a little bit more to put on here because this is not enough. Sometimes you got to have two coats of stuff, so I'll let it dry while I'm doing this, and let me get all of it off of my brush. Hey, Tammy Johnson, it's good to see you. So let me, we're going to take the brown. This is my same brush, that same smaller brush. We're just going to put a little bit on the edge, and we're going to go right around here. And see, I didn't go exactly right, so we'll end up going over this just like that. You want to define the space. Let me get a little more water. You can always fix anything, all right? So this is going to be the top here. This is the mouth, and you could do an extra layer for this if you wanted to, but I don't think I have to do that. And I'm going to take the darker yellow, and we're going to go up underneath that. Keeping the brown on there. I'm just still putting it on there. But we're just kind of making it go so it looks like it's just a round piece here in the front. By putting that on there but see how it just looks a little more defined and I always put extra extra on there when I'm doing it I put some pink and all that on there all right so can you Lee what is Lee what do you say about Lee I don't I didn't catch that <laughs> Thank you. I'm just putting this brown up here at the top. Let me make sure my paints are out of the way. Just to fill this in. You can do the sides if you want to. This one's just going to be on the, the top. Lee, I told you I'd show you how to do. Now, I did put yellow all over this. 
on the sides and everything. So you don't necessarily have to do anything. I did make a boo-boo there, so I'll just have to go back and cover it up with yellow. But that way, you only have the front to worry about as far as the brown. Or you can go on the sides. It doesn't matter. Lasers are a bit different. Yeah, she's... I thought about getting a laser printer. I didn't want to spend that much money. I wanted to get the good one. <laughs> the best one. And, of course, it was expensive, so I decided not to. All right. So, the next thing I'm going to do is get a tiny brush... And here's my brush. This is a very tiny brush. It was in that that uh, container of little bitty ones. See how tiny that is? I'm going to be using that for this. First off, I want to go ahead and we're going to just do our nose, which all I did was take just a little bit and just kind of just press it down. Okay, and that's the little nose part right there. Just nothing more. You can do it a little bit bigger. Because I did the other one a little bit bigger. And I guess I should. He's kind of big. Alright. So that's the nose. Nothing more. Let me get my brown out of there. We'll do the mouth in a minute. I just don't want to get my hand in it like I almost did then. So let's dry it so we don't have to worry about his nose. We'll dry the ears. We might have to do another coat, we may not. I tell you, if you don't have any of this LA Colors blush, you need to get some. This is my favorite. It's hard to find. I don't know if they even have it anymore. I don't know if you could order it on Amazon. I'm not sure, but it came from Dollar Tree. Hey, Shirley Reed. But, um, you know, this is what brings it to life with all the colors of the cheeks. And I put a little bit on the chin and everything. So that's what makes it look so adorable. So now we're going to go ahead. I've got to get some black and I've got to get some white. And remember what I told you on the eyes, you need to make sure that you, let me put that up there, that you use fresh paint because you do not want it to clump or anything. Where did you get the cutouts? I made them, Miss Brittany. I cut them out myself. And especially the white. Which color is it? The which color? The brown or the yellow? The yellow is King's Gold with some white. Hey, Cindy Parks, it's good to see you. The brown is brown oxide. And then just black or white. It doesn't matter what brand. All right. So I'm going to take this. And i got to make sure that you don't have any water. in. Oh, the blush. It's called, I forgot, Lord. Um, LA, LA Colors is what it is. LA Colors. And they used to carry it all the time, and I can't find that color. I found the brownish. But you can get the brown. I just prefer the, the pink, the really bright pink. So I take my little bitty brush, and I roll it in the inside of whatever color I'm going to use. Just right here. And that way it's still pointy. And then we're going to do the eyes. Now I'm just going to do them however big that I want to do them. So I just kind of did it like this. Okay, and that's one eye right there. And then we are going to do the other side. And you just kind of look at them. I eyeball it. They're not going to be perfect, okay? Okay. Dollar Tree has the brownish ones. Yes, that's all I've seen. I haven't seen any of the pink. I got one, and that's all. I just happened to get the one. And this was a few weeks ago. It might have been a couple of months ago, actually. Hey, Ray Johnson. Hey, Kimberlyn. It's good to see you. All right, so I just pick however far I want to do this. And then I just eyeball it now. And then I do it like this. They're not going to be exact. We'll fix it a little bit. 
Can you do me a set that you're making tonight? Do you just want the wood part, Miss Brittany? All right, so this one may be a little bit shorter or a little bit more wide or whatever, and we'll just look at it as we're making it, and we'll see what we're going to do, okay? So the first thing I want to do, that's pretty good to me. So, and yes, just message me because I may forget <clears throat> just being on here. So do you want blue eyes or do you want brown eyes? So let me know while I look for blue while I, and I'm going to do a different blue if y'all pick blue. I used kind of a navy blue for the other one. This one right here is that um, island blue, and this is by Craft Smart. You like blue? Okay, let's try this one. I like this Craft Smart paint. I don't know if other people do. Hey, Janice. Lee said blue also. Do y'all think this blue, this turquoise? I'm going to try turquoise. Let's try that instead of navy. And um, I think it's cute. So I always try to do the blue first or the brown, depending on what you... It's okay, Miss Janice. Can you paint it for me too? Yeah, Brittany, I can paint. You can have this one if you want to or the other one. It doesn't matter. Because you can have one of these. That's fine. Um, I won't have to make you one. I'll already have it made. All right, everybody says blue. So I kind of want to do it. We're going to take this and we're going to go around here. We're going to make a round circle. This one's really going to show up. You can just pick which one you want. All right. So what I do is make the round circle first, and it looks funny. Hey, Miss Ray, thank you for sprinkling. If y'all like this, please give me some hearts. Hey, Benny and Maxine. I bet you're Maxine, though, because <laughs> I bet Benny wouldn't care if I'm doing a giraffe. <laughs> Thank you for those hearts. I appreciate it. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And I try to do this part first. And just remember when you're doing this, You can always go back over it with the black, or you can always go on the edges with, thank you for those hearts, um, or you can always go over it with the white, okay? Hey, Celeste, it's good to see you. So, we're going to make this bigger, okay? This little bitty part is not good enough for me, okay? So, I want it to be a little bit thicker, and we're going to end up... Just putting a little more around there and making it a better circle. We don't want to go all the way up with the white, so we want to color it. And then I'm going to do the same thing here. We're going to make it just a little bit thicker. All right, let me do this. When I'm concentrating just a little bit, I don't talk as much. Give me just a sec. All right, so there are the eyes. They look really weird. Thank you for those stars, Miss Cindy. You're so sweet. And thanks for all those uh, hearts, too. All right, so I've got my white here, and I've got my black. We're going to go ahead and go on the inside of it. You love the blue? It'll be really bright, bright-eyed. A bright-eyed giraffe. So when we go ahead and put this in here, I'm still going to just use my little bitty brush. We're going to go towards the edge of the blue. And I just kind of turn it around because I am right-handed. And 
try to do it as good as I can. All right, so there's one of the eyes right there. And then we're gonna do the other side. And we're just gonna go a little bit. I try to do the outside first. See how it's okay if you have it a little bit too thick in one area because you can go back over it with the black. Hey, Audrey, it's good to see you. So always try to go right at the edge where the color is first and then color the inside because it makes it a lot better. Hey, Miss Pat, it's okay if you're late. You can always watch the replay if you would like. All right, so I'm gonna dry this, okay? They're both just a little bit different. He's coming to life. Short, surely to goodness here, getting there. All right, so the main thing with getting a very pointy, small brush, especially for the white, okay? Because when you go in between, you see how close it is right here at the edge on both sides? Then you're going to need a very tiny brush to get in there. So get fresh paint. Get your brush really pointy, and then you're going to do like this. So, y'all watch. You barely touch right in here. And I do the edges first. And I usually have to do two coats of the white. And see, so you can go back over this on the edge and everything with the black if you mess up. So if you go over the line, it doesn't matter, okay? So just, this is very, very lightly touched. So I'm getting there. I'm going to do the same thing before I get to the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and do the top. Now I'm going to go right here, but I don't think I want to go up that far. So I'm going to end up doing black. So don't think I've missed a spot because I'm technically not going to go in that area. But you just can't tell yet until I fix it. So go around the blue next, once you get your little bit of white right there at the corners. Hey Valerie, it's good to see you. So we're just gonna go around here with one little stroke and then do it again. It always needs at least two and sometimes three. Now see, even if you go over the black line, it doesn't matter. Because you're going to paint over that again to make everything smooth. So when you get to the edges, just go very gently on there so you don't accidentally go into the next area. So I just kind of smooth it out. It's kind of hard. I'm going to fix this. It bothers me. There we go. All right, and then we're going to do this again over here. Let me fill this part in. 
And then just above where the brown is, gonna fill that in and just kind of smooth that out. For whatever reason, sometimes it tries to cake up right there, okay? So this is what it's looking like right now. But until we get the black and the colors around there. Hey, Vicki Fox. Hadn't seen you in a hot minute. <laughs> hey, Paula Tucker. It's good to see you. All right. So I'm going to take the black. Make sure you get all of your water out of your brush because it will make a little dot of water on there. So the first thing I'm going to do is take this and we're going to go around the edge because I want to go a little bit higher right here. We want to bring this to life a little bit more by going a little bit thicker. So see the difference? And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. <laughs> Try to get it down here. I want this more rounded for whatever reason. I'm messing it up. Do one little bit left. If you can't get it all in one fell swoop, okay. And this one needs to go a little bit down there. Same thing with this one. All right, so now I've got these. Now you can take your um, brush and go up underneath the blue or you can keep it just like this. I did not do anything with the other one, but this is a different color blue. <laughs> you like it? Thank you so much. Now, I'm going to still keep the black. We're going to do the eyelashes right now. Well, actually, I want to do something else first while I'm thinking about it. We're going to go on the edge with the brown, and that brings it a lot to life there. Hey, Peggy. Let me put the browns up here. Let me try to get this and move it onto the other plate. That way I don't mess anything up. Hey, Teresa. So, let me... I want the water on it, but just get all of it out of there. Use the edge of your brush. This is the flat one again. What I'm gonna do is take this and we're just gonna float this color right around the eye. You might need just a little more. See, I'm gonna go on top of that just a tad. All right, so here's one of the eyes so far, okay? And then we're gonna do the same thing to the other one. I'm gonna go on the inside. Well, maybe I'll go on the right here and then just go around. I try to go at least halfway and then go the rest of the way, but you can do whatever you like, or you could just take a regular brush you don't have to float the color onto it like I'm doing. This just ends up looking a little bit better, but you can just take a brown brush, a brown, and then do it like this, okay? And then we're gonna, I think I'm gonna do the eyebrows too. Maybe I just need to go on and do the eyebrows with this. And what I ended up doing was just floating that color on there just like that. And then the same thing here. Just like that. And then we're going to take our black 
and we're gonna just do this. I just start right here. I just flick the paint brush. You can do as many lashes as you want. Right now, I just did that many. They're all gonna look a little different. All of them are different. So I just kind of start where the color is. You can just kind of do this a little bit. I'm just barely taking some of this. And we're going to keep going down here since I did it there. All right. So there are the eyelashes. Now the other one, I just did it at the top. I'm good at that. Thank you, Miss Pat. Wow, that's an amazing difference. It is. It comes to life. And having the cheeks on there and the pink as well. I've got to get red. We're going to do the ears real quick. And I choose to do red. I don't know why I don't use pink, but it just looks so much better with the red if you take a little bit of the white and put in it. This is just Crimson by Apple Barrel, and I use that a lot as my ear color. See how it really just adding a little bit, let me show you, a little bit of the white. It makes it look pink. but I like it better than using pink. But you want a little bit of red in it. I'm gonna make it a little bit more red in a minute. And I just take it and I just paint it just like I normally would anything else. Just one little coat here. I know Elizabeth was talking about um, This Is Us. You know, the last night was the season finale. I was a little bit disappointed by that. Were you, Elizabeth? I thought this the one before the end should have been the end of it. They should have fixed it a little bit better. All right. So there's the pink, okay? That's <laughs> so funny. <clears throat> And what else was I going to do? I was going to make just a little bit more red. So I just take the red and don't put any of the You Were Too, Miss Martha. You liked it, Elizabeth? I just, I was disappointed. I don't know. I mean, I love the show. I hate that it's gone. I was just disappointed. I know what they were trying to do, but I just was. All right, let me get just a little bit more red. I just want to make it look a little more red there up at the top. There we go. All right, so there, there's that. Once we get the white in the eyes, it looks a whole lot better. Hey, Cammie Lockwood, it's good to see you. And Regina, it's good to see you. All right, so we're going to take the little brush again, the little pointy one. Yeah, I think they do too, Elizabeth. I don't know. They could just do a little bit better, that's for sure. All right, so I'm going to take this, and I'm going to put the dot right here and right here. And then right here. Now, I'll let the dot do its own little thing. If I don't have it big enough, then I just get a little bit more paint on my brush. I want it to be round. And then right there. And we're going to make the mouth because he looks funny without a mouth. Hey, Cleo. It's good to see you. Hey, Marie. Hola. You're blind. <laughs> what happened? 
<laughs> oh my goodness, what happened to you? All right, so we're just gonna make a little mouth. And I just kind of do them the way I want to. I don't have any rhyme or reason to it. <laughs> We're just going to do it this way. Let me get a good enough amount of brown on here. And then we're going to put the blush on and it really makes it look cute. <laughs> so here... <laughs> And it's a giraffe. Yes, it's a giraffe. All right, so I'm going to get my blush out. Hey, Ellie. It's good to see you. And we're going to put him some blush or her. Now, I take this and I just use my finger and I just push it into the wood. Do several layers. And I push it in there. If you don't do but one, then it will not stay. It will rub off eventually. But this, I haven't had any trouble with it. If you barely put it on there, I do. Let's see, if you put a little bit down here, he just has a little bit more character. Okay? Okay. This color eye, I'm going to try to tone it down just a tad. We're going to put a, like a navy a little bit on top of it. Let me see if I can find my navy. That's a green. I have way too many paints when you can't figure it out. Green, green, silver, silver. All right, here it is. All right, so we're going to just a little bit. We don't want to make it totally blue. I'm going to tone it just a tad. We're going to do it this way. Because it almost looks like it wants to just stare at you or something. I'm just toning it down a little bit. At least it looks that way to me. So I just kind of want to do a little bit. To me, it looks a little better since it's toned down. Thank you, Miss Ben, Miss Maxine. I keep wanting to say Benny, <clears throat> Maxine. It's perfect. I hope so. So we gotta find its body here. Here's the body. And we're gonna put this on there, and I'm just gonna look on here and just see where I want to put this. See, I did one dot, and I really didn't have to do it because of this. So I just want to see where we want to put it. We want his face to go this way or to be this way. <laughs> Think this way, maybe. <laughs> so, um, let's see here. We want it to be up a little bit because I want him to look like he's a giraffe, right? So, let me take my glue gel. Thank you. All right, so we're just going to take a good portion and put it right there on the end. And then I'm going to take my hot glue because you know it's a lot easier to stay right in there. And this is thin, thin wood. So I'm just going to put it about where I think it ought to be. And I also think that I want to do the feet at the the bottom here a little bit darker. It's the texture of the wood. It's kind of showing through a little bit. There. That's a little better. Let me dry it so I don't stick my hand on it. You love him? So 
let's dry this and then I'll turn it around so you can see it. He's really cute, y'all. <laughs> Let me put the tail on, too. I don't want to forget his tail. I got him over here. So, I'm going to stick him kind of on this side. So, let me get the um, glue gel. And what I'm going to do is put it on the front. I'm going to put a little bit right there at the very bottom. And then I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the top of it, the hot glue. I'm trying not to mix these. And I'm just going to stick it right here. Let me hold it for just a second and then I'll show y'all. You love my wooden animals. I appreciate that. Thank you for those hearts too, Miss Martha. He's so adorable. Oh my God, he lo you love him. All right. All right. So here he is. My cute little giraffe, and he will see it, see? Let me get the paints out of the way so you can see better. Hey, there it goes. It blinked again for us. Wonder why it keeps doing that. He's so cute. I think he's cute, too. The other one's cute. Both of them are cute. This is the other one. This is the first one that I did, and he's cute. They both have different personalities. You've got the first one. Then the second one. And see, they all, they look different. There they are. Thank you for those hearts. I appreciate that. Such a precious baby. He's so cute. He's really cute. Both of them are so cute. I like both of them. Both of them are really cute. That's for sure. So I wanted to show y'all a couple things I got in the mail today. We'll put him right down here so y'all can see him. Thank you for those hearts. Way too precious, she says. Thank you. All right. So, um, the first thing I wanted to show you was these up close. Okay, here's the supposed butterfly, but it, of course, looks like a flower. But this one's my favorite. Just, I love the face on this one. This one is just precious. <laughs> and then, of course, here's my B. See, remember this B sign? I did the other side. And this is what I did it to make it look like. You love it, Miss Martha? Thank you. She's a sweetheart. So cute. Okay, let me show you what I got. Okay. These are what I ordered from Amazon. And this is the way that I got it. Okay, so these are the long socks, but it's a different sock than I got the other day. I'm hoping that these are going to be a little bit better. See how long? You can get two gnomes out of one sock. So just remember that. You can make your own out of what I did on the other live. The only thing you wouldn't have are the feet because I cut out my own wooden feet and it just looks so funny, but... um. But you get two out of one. So you get four gnomes out of one pair of socks. And this is what it looks like. Let me turn it around. So y'all can... Whoops, wrong way, wrong thing. Let's see. I'll get it in a minute. Okay. So that's what it looks like if you want to screenshot it. And this came from Amazon, okay? I got these today. They came really quick. All right, so I got three pair. That way I could make, you know, a bunch of gnomes, okay? Because I've had people ask me about them. Okay, today, thanks to my ex-husband's step much of lace, okay? She gave me some of this. I've got some bigger pieces here, and this, she, I guess these are for um, weddings that she did, but this was like for a table or whatever. This is lace, but it's just burgundy color. Really pretty. 
But you know, ages ago, they did burgundy and they did greens for whatever reason. And she gave me some, some green, a dark hunter green. And so I got all of this from her. And then I got, look at all the ribbon she gave me. She gave me tons of ribbon. Hey, Lovada. It's good to see you. So I got this. And I got... This is all the lace. Some of it's on a roll like this. I don't know what it's about, but... Look at all of the lace. All of the ribbon that she gave me. Isn't that a lot? I gotta look through here. And there's a few wooden pieces at the bottom. She gave me something. I think it's a tree. Um, and some other wooden pieces. And she sent that to me. So I got a few good things today in the mail. So that was good to come home to. So look at all this. I've got butterflies on here. And little flowers. And little pink and white. Gingham looking. These are all older. I've never seen some of these ribbons. Look at this. Jammin Jaquards. It's a Walmart thing, but it was on sale for 50 cents ages ago. But these are cool. So I've got a lot of ribbon. As if I didn't have enough ribbon, y'all. I got so much ribbon all the way up here and on my door, on the front and the back of the door. So it's unreal. But here's the giraffe. This is one of them, and this is the one that I did today. So hopefully y'all like that. And come... Um, Friday, we will make one of these because I have enough of these left. Thank you, Marie. But I love this face. This one's just precious. Hopefully, I can recreate that. They never look the same. You never have, you never have enough ribbon. I know. Isn't that the truth? But Friday, we're going to do this. It's very simple. You just need some wood biscuits and you need that little... A round disc just like um, Lee made. She did hers a little bit different and I just put some fabric in here with some stuffing in it and made a big puffy face on there. So Friday that's what I'm gonna do. I'll probably be tired so that won't be too much work for me and it'll be cute too. So hopefully y'all enjoyed this. I appreciate y'all for coming and thank you, Lee and Elizabeth, for showing up as well. And Marie, I appreciate that. Y'all are so sweet. Those are my sweet craft friends, y'all. Um, and I'm so happy they're here along with y'all. That's so cute. Thank you for all the hearts. I appreciate that. And thank you, Elizabeth. And I forgot who gave me the other stars. I'm sorry. Um, but thank you so much for the stars. Thank you, Rita. Thank you, Martha. And um, I guess I will let y'all go for tonight. And y'all have a good evening. And I'll see y'all on Friday. And I will be here at 6 p.m. Central. So y'all catch me then, okay? Y'all have a good night. Thanks for coming by.